What's up guys, XM360 here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a complete burn test including some distance burning with Sanwu Laser's 7 watt Striker Series 455 nanometer blue laser. Uh, this laser was also formerly known as the Spiker. So for the first half of this video I'm going to be doing some close up burning about a foot away without the beam expander just using the normal focus feature on the laser and then in the second half of the video I'm going to do some distance burning at 50 feet and 100 feet and that is going to be utilizing the beam expander that you see right here. And this tripod mount that I have these are actually parts that I have from my GoPro I kind of reused them to make this little tripod for my lasers and it works pretty well. So this video is not a review, it's simply a burn test. I did a separate review video on this laser which you can find in the video description and in that review video I really drive home a lot of the safety stuff that goes with this laser but just to reiterate some of it you really really have to use a good quality pair of glasses with this because it's such a powerful laser. And you need to make sure that if you're doing your burn test indoors, you're doing it somewhere extremely safe where you're not going to accidentally light your home on fire. I use an enclosed shower with ceramic tile. Um, the laser's not capable of igniting my ceramic tile in any way. And I can fill up the bathtub underneath with water so that anything that lights on fire can drop down there. So the first thing I'm going to start with here is some large fireplace matches. And I'm sorry that the whole frame kind of lights up blue. Um, my little enclosure here is all white tiles, so it's really tough to get just the beam without everything showing up this blue color. But as I burn more stuff, the smoke kind of makes the beam a little bit more visible, which you guys will see. And of course, this laser pretty much makes instant work of these matches. The next thing is paper. Um, this paper has a little dark spot, so I'm going to focus on that area because that's where it's going to burn the best. And literally within a second or two, the laser lights that paper completely on fire. So yeah, definitely very dangerous laser. You got to be very careful with it. It's very, very powerful. Uh, the next thing is black electric tape. Cuts through it in seconds. And then if I just put a little individual piece under it, I can also light it on fire. Um, I tried to not burn too much of it though because you're really not supposed to be inhaling the smoke that comes off of that. And this next one is pretty cool. This is flash paper that magicians use. When it's ignited, it completely goes up in flames within seconds and leaves no trace. That stuff only cost me about $10 for a bunch of sheets of it, so I'll put a link to that in the video description if you want to get that and try it out for yourself. The next one is a very dry leaf that I got from a dry place outside. And I am able to light that on fire too after a couple of seconds. And that really just goes to show that this laser does have the potential to cause a wildfire if you live in a dry area, so be very careful with it. This next one is metal soldering wire. And after a couple of seconds, I'm able to actually cut off a section of this metal wire, which is really, really cool. Up next is a small section of black tarp. Uh, this one's pretty similar to the electric tape. It just cuts through this stuff like scissors. And you really got to avoid inhaling too much of this smoke because it is, I believe, labeled as a carcinogen, which could cause cancer if you inhale too much of it. But in a very small amount like this, there's not much danger. The next item on the list is a small black pen. And after spinning it around for a couple of seconds, I'm able to chop completely through it. It's just one of those cheap little plastic pens that comes in like a pack of 100. Next up is a small piece of wood. Uh, this isn't like tree bark or anything this is like a section of cut wood from Home Depot and it does create a little instant flame wherever the laser is pointing I don't know if you guys can see it that well but if I pull it off it doesn't really stay on fire if I pull it off but when I have it under the laser it creates like an instantaneous flame on the spot that it's pointing at next up is a Cheeto don't ask me where I got the idea from I really wouldn't be able to tell you I just decided to try to burn a Cheeto, and for clarification, this is a puffy Cheeto, not a crunchy one, for anybody that's wondering. I did try with a marshmallow as well, but I didn't have any luck, probably because of its white color. Next up is a unpeeled banana, and you're able to make black lines on it. It doesn't necessarily set it on fire, but I could kind of like carve my name onto the outside of the banana. It creates these uh, black burn marks all over the skin of the banana. And if I left it on there long enough, I could probably burn straight through the peel and burn the inside of the banana as well. And the last thing for the uh, short range burn test is a piece of cardboard. 
Uh, it's kind of like a waxy cardboard. It's from a six pack of beers. And I'm burning just the edge here because the edge is a little bit darker and I'm able to light it on fire. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Next up, I'm going to move to the outdoor distance burning test. I'm using a target of three black balloons and I've measured out exactly 50 feet away and 100 feet away. And I do have my beam expander attached and focused into the best ability. And when I say best ability, I mean the finest dot, which is going to be the best focal point for burning. Um, I also have it mounted on this tripod here to give me a bit of extra stability so I'm not shaking around too much at this long distance. Now this is at 50 feet away and it makes pretty short work of these balloons within a couple of seconds of being aimed at each one of them. And it's also very important to note that I have that rock wall set up right behind where I'm pointing this laser so this laser will not inadvertently hit any people or any animals or any places or light anything unintentional on fire. You gotta be very careful where you're aiming something this strong. Moving on to the 100 foot test, it takes a little bit longer here and definitely takes a lot more of a stable hand, but I am able to pop all three of the balloons from 100 feet out. And that was pretty much the extent of my distance burn tests. I did try to push it to 150 feet, but I wasn't able to pop the balloons from that distance. And I also did try to light matches from 50 feet and 100 feet, but I couldn't get them to ignite at all. And I do think that wind and instability was a little factor here. Even though I had that tripod, it was still somewhat tough to get things perfectly stable, especially with the, the balloons blowing around in the wind and moving side to side. Now, if I had some large indoor warehouse that was completely enclosed from the wind and the elements, I'd probably see a little bit of increased results here. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this burn test with the 7 watt striker series laser from Sanwu. If you guys found this interesting in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome laser videos just like this one. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.